lights, landmarks and luxury. Australia's vibrant cities place super yachts at the heart of the action. Across the country, each major city has its own compelling reason to visit. Every city, no matter where you are in the world, has its own unique offering. So Australia is no different, we just have many cities, big, small. Everything's got different aspects to offer, whether it's food, wine. Australia is so well known for all its produce. Plenty of, plenty of, plenty of add-on to getting off the yacht for a day, whether you jump on a helicopter and go somewhere. So there's lots to do. So some cities offer adventure, some other cities offer food and culture. But Australia has the lot and that's why it's a, a great destination. The other thing that's important to know is that when you access some of our major cities, they are huge, vibrant places. And, you know, there's nothing like experiencing New Year's Eve in Sydney and the fireworks from the back of a boat. I think it's one of uh, life's must-do experiences. And then you can head down to Melbourne and, uh, and go to the Australian Open Tennis uh, Championships that are held there at the end of January. So it's a great way to access our cities as well as our more remote regions. There's a real diversity there and we love to really showcase that. One of the best things about Australia is that you can be in one of the capital cities and then a few hours later on a you know, completely remote destination just a few hours away. With such a diversity of choice, there is an art to curating the perfect super yacht itinerary. What we recommend really just depends on what kind of group you are and, and where you are as well. So first it's really important to match your client with the, the right yacht for them. Ahoy Club have the widest selection of yachts available in Australia. We have 150 available currently and that's growing year on year, which is fantastic to see. And then after that, it's over to our customer experience and our events teams to really bring it to life. And that's the fun part of the job. It's where the passion lies. What makes the Ahoy Club team different is they have actually lived the experience as a charterer. So they've spent extensive time on the family's boats, which allows them to really convey those experiences onto the rest of our fleet uh, around Australia and around the world. We've, as a team, actually tried and tested every single itinerary that we promote around Australia. I think that's what's so important when we're speaking with clients. There's a real passion there and we are trying to experience everything so that we can then recommend the very best to our customers. It's hard not to start with Sydney Harbour. You've got restaurants, you've got amazing cruising, you've got the Harbour Bridge, you've got the Opera House, and you've got amazing marina facilities all within three kilometres. So really, you come to Sydney and, and you've got it all. The quintessential Sydney experience starts at Jones Bay Wharf, a state-of-the-art marina in a heritage location. This is the home of super yachts in Sydney. Just minutes from the city's iconic landmarks, Jones Bay Marina offers comprehensive super yacht facilities with an historic charm. An ideal base from which to explore Sydney's waterways. Jones Bay hosts some of the country's leading charter yachts, brokerage houses and events. For visiting super yachts, it doesn't get any better than a premium berth overlooking the Harbour Bridge. Sydney Harbour is one of the most unique locations in the world. And, and here we are sitting in the middle of it. I think if you had to pick a city that's got the most ultimate waterfront experience with the city right in the background, with right where we are here with the seventh wonder of the world, the Sydney Opera House right behind us, Harbour Bridge, Sydney's it. You've got, within a very small zone, you've got everything. You've got a full city, you can pull up in the city. There's restaurants galore. There's, there's everything you want from a city environment, but then you get to escape back to the boat. So Sydney's an all, all year round destination. I mean, here we are in the middle of winter um, and this is the weather we, we get. Uh, summer's fantastic, the beaches are brilliant uh, and Sydney Harbour, there's lots of different coves and areas that you can get into. There's some areas that are within National Park around it. You, you don't feel like you're in the city. There's no city I know of we can go into that you can pretty much anchor almost everywhere. You can swim pretty much everywhere and still get the backdrop of a metropolitan city and then turn left and you've got expanse of grasslands and parks. Sydney Harbour is the place to be on New Year's Eve. 
You know, you've got the most incredible firework display. You've got all of the yachts here. You know, you see that a really impressive lineup of yachts and there's nothing quite like being right underneath all of the action. Everything is just accessible. But when here you're just encapsulated and you've just got everything you can see all the way around you and really enjoy it. For super yachts, the Sydney experience extends beyond the harbour with plenty of adventure in the surrounding areas. Well, just to the north of Sydney Harbour is Pittwater. It's about five times the size of Sydney Harbour. Uh, most of it's surrounded by National Park. So it's only, it's only a short you know, half hour journey to Pittwater. However, you feel like you're in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the wilderness. So it's a fantastic location in itself. It's a totally different waterway to Sydney Harbour. Yeah, the northern beaches or Pittwater or Broken Way area are, are unique. They're 15 nautical miles from Sydney Heads, uh, 40 kilometres as a seaplane or a helicopter will fly to the CBD. So we're very fortunate that we're so close to the CBD yet so far away, surrounded by, you know, beautiful area. Depending on what your vessel's capable of and what toys you've got on board, you can do everything from water skiing, estuary fishing, to snorkeling, diving, uh, parasailing, uh, you name it. We've got an uh, area of waterway that can adapt or uh, achieve those, those needs or wants. So it's only a two hour slow cruise up, up the coast. You've got pit water uh, and you can go way down there. Lots of undiscovered areas, I suppose you'd call it. A lot of national park, really good. Little quaint restaurant. Uh, Cottage Point in particular is one favourite spot, I think, where, where super yachts go. Again, that diversity is so great that you can be standing under a waterfall during the day and then next thing have a nice romantic dinner at a, one of the local restaurants or have a quiet night on your boat in a bay. And that's the beautiful thing about this waterway uh, with the metropolitan area so close, yet the national parks we have uh, abilities to go water skiing one day, snorkeling out to Maitland Reef the next, uh, game fishing the following days. Well, we've been fortunate to have a marine extension. We've got a world-class facility, and I think with the staff, our crew, running the marina, understanding what super yachts need, it's just hand in hand to provide a beautiful environment and uh, atmosphere that we want it to be seamless and enjoyable. People who enjoy that couple of days to see, two or three days for example, to see what Sydney's about. And then you organise the itinerary to spend three or four days, or half of it, going into Pittwater. You know, beautiful bays, off the beaten track. It's nothing like being surrounded by a city. You wouldn't know that just over, over the hill, you've got a, a major city at all. And that's always, always in our, um, our suggested itinerary. Usually it's Sydney, Pittwater. Heading down to Victoria, Melbourne is Australia's cultural and sporting capital. From its centrally located harbour, super yachts can make the most of an action-packed events calendar throughout the year. Well, Melbourne is a fantastic waterfront city. We are a city based around experiences. And that's why we're so focused on things like events, festivals, being a sporting capital and arts capital and events capital, because it is about creating those experiences. What really sets us apart is the number of uh, what I call cultural institutions and sporting institutions all within walking distance around our CBD. At any one time, there are multiple events underway, whether it's big global sporting events that bring people from around the world, such as the Spring Racing Carnival, the Australian uh, Tennis Open, uh, one of the uh, four Grand Slams of the world. And we are the only city in the world to have both a Tennis Grand Slam and a Formula One Grand Prix. We love that sense of discovery, but we also really like to share experiences with others. 
you know, there's some popular charters going up and down the Yarra River. And then over the summer months, commonly the vessels there will head down the Mornington Peninsula, which is the wine region of Australia. You know, there's fantastic cruising region around Portsea. All of the Melbourners really head up there. So there's some fantastic property, some really cute restaurants. It's, it's a good place to be over summer. Melbourne provides a very distinctive experience that you wouldn't have in many of the other typical places for you super yachts to stop. We are an enormous waterfront harbour here, literally on the doorstep of the city. Melbourne really is a fantastic place for you to come and dock, to enjoy, uh, and it will be a remarkable part of your boating experience. We've set ourselves up to be able to provide exemplary services and experiences for super yachts, both for crews and for guests. Everything is on your doorstep here in Melbourne. You can access a fantastic marina, but it's really what's beyond that in terms of uh, opportunities, experiences, which is almost limitless. So uh, Melbourne's an event city, um, you've got amazing events there, you've got the horse racing, probably the best horse racing in the world, there's a tender berth at the main track, so it's quite easy to, um, to get guests to and from the vessel, there's berths right in the centre of town that you can walk to everything. The Australian Open also has a tender berth at Rod Laver Arena, so you can transfer guests directly to the stadium. And the Formula One at uh, Albert Park is uh, usually the first race of the season, so there's all the excitement of new teams, new drivers. Right at the end of summer, it's a great uh, place to be. Australia's coastal cities act as gateways for super yachts to access the country's most adventurous cruising grounds. Whether you're exploring the Great Barrier Reef, the Kimberleys or Tasmania, city luxuries are never far away. From the soft sand beaches of Perth to the enchanting culture of Darwin and the quirky luxuries of Hobart, Australia's eclectic cities have it all. Next time. Our city escapades continue as we visit South East Queensland's yachting hubs, Brisbane and the Gold Coast.